might get beat. These are Yeezys on my feet. Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. So today we will be talking about dressing modestly and treating your body with respect. Turn in your King James Bible to the book of First Timothy. We're going to go to the second chapter. Chapter 2, verse 9 of First Timothy. And we're going to end off at verse 10. All right. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but with but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. All right. Dress modestly. Go into a church building, and I guarantee you there will be a bunch of men and women who are dressed unmodestly. Church buildings are supposed to be houses of God. So, if you're going to go into the house of God, I think you should dress with an ounce of respect, at the very least. Turn in your King James Bible. You need to actually be reading. I'm not your mommy, I'm not going to read to you without you reading. Well, I mean, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Alright, turn in your King James Bible, 1 Corinthians, chapter 6. We're going to start off at verse 19 and end off at verse 20. I have notes on the side, that's why I'm looking over there. Chapter 6, verse 19, in the book of 1 Corinthians. Turn there in your King James Bible. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Not yours. God's. Not yours. What did we just learn? We learned about dressing modestly and glorifying your body. Walk into a church building. A lot of the times, if I'm, I'm going to be completely blunt, it's full of out of shape people. It's full of people with tattoos, piercings, and people who are dressed immodestly. All right, now, we can talk about church buildings and my problems with them another time. That's not the point of today's study. Today, we are talking about dressing modestly and glorifying your body. How is getting a bunch of tattoos and piercings glorifying your body? You're injecting your skin with ink that will never go away unless you, unless you get that laser stuff, that laser tattoo removal. It will never go away. What kind of stuff is that going to do to your skin? If you ask me, I think those tattoos are going to, they're going to leave you at a higher risk of, of skin cancer and all that hubbub. You don't know what's in that. And these piercings. You're cutting up your body and sticking metal in there. I mean, traveling must be a pain in the behind, because you either got to take it out, or you got to explain, yeah, I got a bunch of piercings. Yeah, one's right there, and one's right So that's why the metal detector could... How about you just don't get piercings? Or tattoos? And how about you dress modestly, too? Not wearing these... What are they called? Those crop tops? I believe they're called... Disgusting. Those short shorts. Why are you wearing that in public to begin with? I'd be, I would be embarrassed if I wore shorts that went halfway down the bottom of my knees. If I wore that in public outside the swimming pool. I'd be embarrassed if I wore half the stuff that these kids today are wearing. Alright, well that's going to be all for this video. Bye bye y'all.